Okay, hi! I am currently in my New York apartment and I have a co-chef, special guest, Juliana, and she is here. We're doing a girls' night, wine night also. Can't forget the wine. I always wine. And we are making spaghetti squash over homemade sweet potato brown butter sage gnocchis. Fresh gnocchi. Yeah, like fresh by hand cut gnocchis. So basically the first thing that we're gonna do is cut the spaghetti squash and then we're gonna um, Put it in so, the oven because it takes a long time. Is the but, oven preheated? Yeah, but you just want to start by poking some hose in it and then microwave it. Actually, it's about this step. Oh, move our sweet potato, which we've already microwaved. And we're going to microwave that for like a couple minutes to get it a little soft before we cut into it. Otherwise, it's really hard to cut into. But in the meantime, we can cut open this sweet potato and put it in the blender, or the, sorry, the mixer. Ooh, very hot. In the meantime, we can put this in the blender, or mixer, and then we're gonna add this ricotta. It's been drained in the mixer. And so we need a half a cup of our So I got my cup here. One tablespoon of brown sugar. Ooh, it's hard. So the sweetness is nice in these uh, gnocchis. Okay, brown sugar, and then we need a little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg's here. This one? We need a teaspoon of nutmeg in the mixer. I keep calling it a blender. blender. And then some salt, a teaspoon of salt as well. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> A mitt. Oh, it's bubbling. <laughs> okay. So we got our squash. Oh my goodness. Is this a put? Oh, there. We could have just cracked it open. Now we have to scoop out the insides. You scoop and out the seeds. We cook it? Like a pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm struggling. Ah! It's hot. On your side. And then we put it in that tray. Upside down, we well, sprinkle olive oil, salt, pepper, and then put it in the tray upside down. We, oops, drizzle olive oil on there. Yeah, perfect. Now, flip those upside down. And then you, oh, it's really hot. Yeah, because the oven's on, I think. Oh, and then you bake it. 40 minutes, one and a half cups of flour, half a cup at a time, so like three of these. Okay. Woo! Let's see if we added enough flour. <laughs> if it's too sticky to work with, we can always add more flour. So yeah, add flour onto these things. Oh, I feel like it's gonna be okay. So get a little dough, and then you roll it out on a floured surface, like so. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is, I feel like this is a good texture. <laughs> Professional gnocchi rollers, right here folks. Uh, I promise it'll taste amazing. It'll taste great. But honestly, and if like. if not, we'll just have a lot of wine and. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, it's the effort that counts. Whoever you're making this for, like, I made this for my boyfriend and he still talks about it. He's like, my girlfriend makes Ooh. homemade gnocchis. I'm like, yeah, that's right. For if you're trying to Day? rent, if you're trying to win someone over, this is the way. Make the gnocchi. To it. For Valentine's Day, my boyfriend and I, we made like fresh pasta in my apartment, and we nice. accidentally like doubled the recipe or whatever. So at one point, I like got hangers out of my closet, and I had like pasta like hanging That's all cool. over my kitchen. It looked so crazy. You know what? The more misshapen they are, the more you know, and done they are. 
right? Couldn't get any fresher than this. Exactly. This is a big one. <laughs> I feel like we could both be doing it. Whoa, baby. Oh, I think I got the hang of it. You can work your way outward. You go like this. They almost look like pretzels. <laughs> You know those pretzel stands where they do it in front yeah, of you? Yeah, Auntie Anne's is the oh, best thing so ever. Good. Look at me going. Woo! We're gonna roll. roll it. Oh my god, it's almost easier the bigger it gets. Right now it's just Ooh, rolling itself. Oh, oh. I lost control on this end. And down. No, I'm keep coming, on wild. I'm coming into your area. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Sorry, I'll break mine off. So, cutting time. But basically, Really you cut the gnocchis. How big? Into like, well, really how big you want it, but smaller than you think because they get big when you cook them. And then after that, you take a fork and you push it down like that. It looks okay. like that little guy. And it's okay if they look weird. I don't know, it's very zen for me. Like, I just zone out when I cook. Yeah, it's a good way to wind down your day. And it's just like a good way to bond with like friends and family or boyfriends when you like, you just like hang out and cook and drink. And yeah. Like yeah. Create something together. I mean, how romantic. Do you cook every night? Or like most nights? Um, no. I have to say, <laughs> I'm a big delivery girl. But um, when I'm, I'm in Miami because boyfriend lives in Miami and I'm in New York so when I'm there I cook a lot actually in Miami the kitchen well, yeah, much I was bigger gonna say, he has such a nice kitchen yeah Sorry. it's much nicer to cook when you have a big space which I have not this nice island so it's okay I think I found the way I feel like you roll it like this roll oh that looks good roll. then it's round roll it and then we have some not that beautiful ones, but they're still... They'll still look good. These are a good shape. The four twins are a little flat. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have made this, and obviously it's a lot of gnocchi, and I froze it, and it was like great. I just thawed it out and put it in some boiling water, made the sauce, and it was like perfect. So, it's always nice that you don't have to go through that before doing the actual dough again. Voila! Gnocchi! Slotted spoons so that I can put them in the water for a couple minutes. Five to six minutes to be exact. <laughs> and then you scoop them out. And then you put them to the side until you're ready to mix it into your sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So we can work on the sauce, work on the sauce while that boils. So we have our water boiling and now we're going to put that butter. The whole thing? <laughs> the whole thing. The recipe actually calls for two sticks but because we halved it. But we also are adding spaghetti squash below it so we need like extra sauce anyways. So Ooh. basically, yum. It's a great sound. If you've never browned butter, it's like the easiest thing ever. You basically just put butter in a pan. I usually use a non or um, a wrought iron skillet, which I like a lot better. But I'm making a lot, and I don't have a big enough skillet in this apartment. <laughs> and basically, you just let it go, and you just let it kind of not burn, but it it bubbles up, and then it just begins to brown. And you can smell the difference. Yeah. It, and it's it gonna have like brown bits at the bottom, which you might be like, no, we burned it, but it's exactly what you want. So, it's almost like caramelizing something. So good, it's like my favorite sauce. Okay, now we add the chopped sage, which will... Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah, that'll really fry up nicely. Now, if you want it to be healthier, you could probably just drizzle like all a little like, salt and pepper on this. But, but that's no fun. Yeah. 
If you're really trying to impress people, I would just go with the butter. Yeah. Because it just tastes better. Mmm. Maybe add a little salt and pepper now. Oh, it smells so good. Whoa. Whoa! Ooh. Ah. Turn the heat off and it'll just stay liquidy. And I know it looks really gross from this angle, but that's like how it's supposed to be. Yeah, our squash is done. Ready. Perfect. So after that cools down, we're gonna peel out the, um, the spaghetti squash. So now I'm gonna start cooking the gnocchis. Just putting a little bit in each time. Ah. And yeah, I kind of just take them out when they start to come to the surface. Oh my God, they're sticking together. Okay, so our gnocchis are done cooking. And now we're gonna just put them right into the brown butter sauce. Now just stir that up. In the sauce. We're going to leave that for a second. And then it's super easy. You just do this with a fork. And look, you have spaghetti squash. Yum. So easy. Oh, yum. You can do like marinara, like red sauce. Olive oil, salt, and pepper, lemon, capers. It literally is like a blank slate for you to do whatever you want. Top it with some gnocchi. Yum. Scoop in that goodness. Salt and pepper. Fresh, let's go fresh. Ooh, ground it. Oh, grind it, not ground it. <laughs> ground it. <laughs> and voila. Voila. Look. Yum. I'm so excited to eat this.